Hey guys, welcome back to Ashbury. Today is December 27th, 2016, the day after Boxing Day, aka the day after the last episode. So this is day 21 of this town series. And yeah, uh, I said it in the description, but I mean, generally YouTubers aren't like super resourceful about like looking in their... Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> That's an awesome way to start the goddamn fuck. So generally a lot of people leave comments where like the answer is actually in the description so i might as well just go out and say now um i'm no longer putting rebooted in the title it's not really the biggest deal but i'm trying to save characters in a lot of my titles um and save room just so if you see it in your suggested videos or you just see the thumbnail i guess anywhere even on my channel it's it doesn't dot 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 or have like a weird ellipsis or cut off the title early or something and uh, when i have this format and i take out rebooted and it just says animal crossing day 21 you know whatever the title is it like it shows just that and then when you click on the video and you're watching it you can also see uh, in parentheses the date so I think that's pretty cool how that works out so um, I'm just gonna leave it like that I think it's pretty redundant to keep putting rebooted because this series is old as shit um, but yeah I <laughs> kind of a weird thought I don't know why Claude spawned right in front of my house but oh yeah yeah obviously I should have covered this earlier um and notice anything different about the town give you a hint here fuck yeah no weeds except that one I picked all the weeds that I could see basically and if I've missed a corner then that's just awesome and I'll have to take care of that another time but for now as far as I can tell this town is relatively weed free which is pretty cool so let's see if we got any announcements December 31st I will be attending that I don't think I have any obligation in real life that would stop me from doing that um, I don't even think I'll time travel or anything I, I think I could do it as is if I had to time travel I wouldn't do it so 11 p.m. I mean I guess I could kind of make some leeway with my family I don't it's not really a big deal to me to do the New Year's thing IRL in front of a TV you know watching the news or whatever watching them drop the ball or whatever in New York I, I don't remember what they do but it's something similar to that uh, not really the biggest concern and even then I could record an episode and not miss it I think that's the reason uh, this game made it at 11 p.m. and not at 12 a.m. so that you could still attend it and you know what actually I'm probably wrong nah you probably do it real time at, at actual midnight in the game too but whatever they're probably not looking out for the actual consumers it's just like part of the whole real-time concept of this game so this town is uh, immediately infinitely more attractive now that the weeds are gone I don't know why they always have this AI when you like walk past someone's house their door opens and they come out but, uh, all right, yeah, so when I was playing on the file earlier today and clearing out the weeds, I didn't interact with any villagers, I didn't dig any holes, uh, my inventory and wallet should be as is, and, uh, I guess that's all I really have to cover, so, let's check the mail, because this is more letters than I was expecting, maybe I got one from Crazy Red, okay, HRA, I've got a shit score, Stego Tail. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, what's next? Trillabite. Oh. T-Rex skull. Goddamn. Stego skull again. I'm getting, like, good fossils now. I feel like if you play the game for a really long time and keep mailing in fossils, they just gradually, like, just get, like, fuck. Less valuable. Sorry, my commentating skills are weird right now. I'm kind of, like, in a weird mood. and I'm kind of sort of tired, but... For some reason, when I was commentating uh, between the summer of my sophomore and junior year, I, whenever I was doing it at the time, I felt like my commentating was really good. Not really good, but just like, you know, pretty good. I was like, I'm pretty happy with this commentary. This is one of my better runs. And then now, I go back to one of my long-ass videos, because all these Animal Crossing episodes are somewhere between 30 minutes and, you know, an hour 10. And I watch it, and I'm just like, this is not engaging whatsoever. <laughs> like... I don't even think my commentating is better nowadays than it was back then. Maybe occasionally I'm a little more articulate, but I just I just don't really feel like it's quite on the same level, so. I don't know. So, fucking, apparently, Tom Nook was dying to tell me about his maple bonsai. And my HRA score is 2903, which is just awesome. What a time to be alive that everybody... I didn't even fucking ask for them to rate my house, because Tom Nook makes you say yes.
Hmm. And the first time a character asks me a question, it actually lets me answer it. Um. No, I have not. Well, thanks. Thanks for extending on that. Fucking dire. All right. We're gonna sell our shit. And we're just gonna see what this world gives us, man. Go with the. Fl I gotta dig up a lot of holes, though. That's the thing. Once the weeds are gone, you can see all the holes. <clears throat> I completely forgot about this thing that I was doing in a lot of my earlier episodes. Ooh, 15k. That's amazing. <laughs> That's really good turnout. Oh, I should have sold my fish. What am I doing? That, uh, in a lot of my earlier episodes, I used to routinely buy, um, flowers and plant them in areas where it looked like they could use a little more, you know, aesthetic, and because of that, it didn't even take that long. I had, like, some pretty, like, consistently even-looking pretty landscape throughout almost all the acres, and I was, like, pretty happy with it, but I, this is winter. I don't know. I, I think the flowers still definitely have a good place aesthetically, even in the winter, but as I was looking back at my older episodes, I was honestly, like, amazed at how attractive the whole, like, lush graphics are of the, uh, I guess it was summer at the time. The, I love the way, I, like, the grass was, like, light green, and, like, nowadays it's just basically pure white with a little bit of patterning at the most, but I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to playing during uh, spring and fall because those are the two I missed, uh, especially spring. I don't know, I imagine they'd make it look really pretty in this game. I haven't played Spring in quite a while. So, that's something I'm definitely looking forward to. And this is really the, the very short winter season of of this series, really. Because it's probably not going to come around a lot. Winter technically starts, I guess, on the, um, the solstice on the 21st or so. But, I just, like, if it wasn't for these, or me reviving the series and getting the drive to do it starting Boxing Day, these wouldn't there would be no episodes with 2016 in them like it'd basically be literally a full 18 months and then suddenly we're going from 2015 to 2017 and uh these shirts don't look very attractive to me i don't really like any of them but if i really wanted to buy one it'd probably be that one but even then it's not really enough although now that i'm looking at it i'm looking at my shirt and i'm just like what the fuck am i wearing i'm probably gonna go back to my basement and pick something new to wear I'm not really big on doing patterns at the Able Sister Star. I'm totally just giving you this giant ass lecture. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, I should probably start shaking trees. Just a few like nitpicky things. New Leaf did better than this game. Were fucking fruit pa fruit baskets. One of the best things. And being able to like, whenever you mail letters, you can just drag them into a thing on one menu instead of going rinsing and repeating through like. 30,000 of the same dialogue and that was nice too that's really just a convenience thing it doesn't really amount to much with the whole experience of the game but you know definitely fucking helps all right are you the money rock i didn't find the money rock yesterday no i don't think i've ever gotten it on my first try all right um I don't really feel like selling the fruit now. I might as well just look around for a while. Find one or two more trees. Actually, I, I just should go money rock scanning. I think in the earlier parts of the series, aka everything before yesterday, I would talk to, I don't know if it was every villager, but I'd talk to a decent number of villagers and ask them if they need favors and shit. So I might start doing that. I remember, I don't know if there's an actual formula like predefined in the game, but I remember doing this a lot on a file when I was younger, and the longer I would do it, the more likely it would be that they'd give me a really shitty reward for doing their chores. They'd give me parchment every fucking time. They'd be like, yeah, here's my favorite stationery. I'm like, oh, God, thanks. It's so expensive. Like, what a valuable chore I've clearly done for you. Thank you. But... Uh, for some reason on this file, I don't know if, if it's because the file's young or something, but I haven't exhausted much of anything because they're giving me, like, furniture and shit, so I really appreciate that. So, I think there was Hopper up there. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little closer to Lobo. That's today's side quest, folks. He calls me fucking Aru, really? That's, like, the most annoying signature. Ooh. All right. 
this is my least favorite type of chore because I could go to Freckles and she could send me to someone else and then that person could send me to someone else like as many as probably five times. You know, as many times as there are villagers minus Lobo. So I could at the very maximum spend 14 fucking cycles getting this goddamn organizer. But I'm going to do it because it's worth it. You can't put a price on my delicate relationship with Lobo. So let's go over to Fuckface. I mean, Freckles. Where are you? Alright. Thankfully, she's pretty close. I think Freckles is a she. I don't know. <clears throat> Alright. What's up, Doc? God, Doc is a fucking nerd, bro. Alright, where are you, Freckles? What are the odds? <laughs> I'm not in right now. Well, yeah, I can see that. Um... Might as well just go fishing. I don't have to be like linear quest mode. He's not gonna forget that he still needs an organizer if I take five minutes longer. Shit. That Tibble, yeah. I hate my goddamn villagers. I don't know. I it must have been the, the thing I was talking about yesterday, how I, I became increasingly attached. I I think it's kind of inevitable with a lot of people's first towns that they really grow to love their very first set of villagers. And honestly, that's not stopping me because these are some like fucking like, what's the word for it? Like flat, you know, when you're reading a story or like, I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's Shakespearean, but I remember when I was reading Shakespeare, it was my freshman year. What the fuck did I just catch? Isn't that worth a shitload? Oh, by the way, you guys would be proud of me. I've remembered I used to open the wiki before I started recording just in case I need to look up something like this. And guess what Dylan Moore just fucking did? Holy shit. These stringfish sells for 15,000 bells. You can catch it from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. Like, that's a pretty weird fuck. All right, so it's a winter fish. December to February. Holy fuck. There's my incentive to play this game in the winter. Holy shit, that's so much money I just made. Is it really? Oh, my God, dude. That is God tier, bro. God tier shit. And I think I was... Uh, Oh, Blue Bear, what's up? Oh, shit. So many weeds right behind Blue Bear's house. Uh-oh. <laughs> Another one of these goddamn horrible ass freaking chores. I guess there are only two types of chores, technically. It's it's delivery and pickup. At least, I think. Maybe um, villagers, I don't remember if it's restricted to New Leaf, but they sometimes ask you to catch shit for them. So... Eunice or Freckles, basically. And I just did this to keep my mind off of the Freckles not being in her house shit. And hopefully, uh... Hopefully I didn't miss more parts of the map. This is really a bummer. I'm not gonna do this now, but... I wanna see how badly... Okay, yeah. I didn't fuck up that badly. There's Axel, I think. I don't know. I dislike my villagers so much that I feel like it's, it's not even worth learning their fucking names. Like, I just have almost no respect for most of these. I think if I became closest to any one of these villagers in here, it's probably Claude. I don't know. I feel like any villager that has that tired look, generally always lazy villagers, I'm, I can be really attached to them. I don't know why, but definitely a fan of lazy above almost anything. All right, I swear to God, if you've given somebody else your Pokemon Pikachu... That's one of the bullshit things about this game. Wow, okay, wow. God damn it. I am so surprised at this juncture. Time to go up to Sherry. That's the one thing about things in this game is when you do chores that involve items, like, they usually involve special items, like, uh, I think there's like a camera, maybe a Game Boy Advance, the Pokemon Pikachu. Where the hell's the bridge? Okay, I'm close. Um, those are all items that are exclusive to chores. You cannot get them or uh, you cannot interact with them yourself. They're not tangible items for the player. But they're just kind of trade items, I guess. I don't know. It makes me kind of mad because it seems like that'd be like an awesome feature to be able to like have more of a trust system like you can in New Leaf where you can just like be like, you know what, fuck you. You know, you, you're supposed to deliver your like huge dildo to fucking freckles from Marshall, because Marshall's a... Alright, hang on a minute. Let me end this tangent. 
So Sherry and Freckles aren't in. This is a nightmare, ladies and gentlemen. What am I to do? I guess since I'm near here, I'm gonna sell all my shit. <clears throat> I think I got one spare letter. Or, what is it called? Just paper. Parchment paper, stationery. It's all the same shit. Add you to my wallet. And then I've got this useless ass fucking... What is it, a Venus comb? <laughs> These stupid ass shells. So yeah, I've literally got to spend the beginning of this episode. I think the most chores you can do at once is three. So maybe I could add one more to my queue and see if that one's manageable. But I really basically have to count on, count on it being a delivery. Because otherwise, it's kind of not really worth my concern. And it's really just going to fuck me up. I don't really understand too much about this game. I don't know if there's any sort of numerical coding behind how your relationship is affected if you reject someone's... Is that a cardinal? No, that's just a birdcage. Alright, uh... You know what? That would definitely fit in my house. It's got the kind of wood manufactured aesthetic, or like, like raw material aesthetic. Um, that would too. But if I were to do a bonsai or anything, like... What the hell is the word for it? Not botany, but like... I don't know, it doesn't matter. Anything like a plant, I would not... I would probably want to use a bright color. Maybe I would have, like, the flower pot itself be, like, brown or anything that suits my kind of oak aesthetic. Like, the outside of, I guess this is Hopper's house, looks a lot like the inside of mine. That's kind of what I'm going for. Hopper, please have a delivery for me. Damn it. Alright. I guess nothing's better than a fucking pickup. I hate going to villagers and finding out they've given their shit to some other shit. And then you gotta go to that piece of shit and get their shit from that shit. And, yeah. Uh, it's really not a fun time. Now I've gotta look- Oh, shoot. I guess I'm gonna look for the tree that lands in. For some reason I was like, oh shit, I don't have a slingshot. But that's New Leaf. This time around, it's just goddamn trees. Oop, lucky. Hopefully a bee doesn't come out of this shit. All right, in New Leaf, the like this is like the biggest disappointment of all time because it's only balloon furniture. But in here, it's cool shit like the classic painting. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that up in my room. I don't entirely remember what it looked like, but I think it's a pretty attractive painting. And it might be, yeah. I don't I don't think artwork has a special icon. I think it's just a leaf. So. I could probably, that's probably a donatable item too, but I'm probably not going to be looking at the museum until um, this is all covered. And honestly, I'm getting close. I think it's really spring and fall, me missing those two that fucked me up. Because if you do summer fish, winter fish, and year round fish, that's most. That's probably about three quarters of all the fish, aka probably about 30 out of 40. In fact, it's probably more because I've got, what do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've got, I've got 26 so far, so that could be something to look into. I, I don't really know. I'm going to probably look into that um, outside of this recording and figure out numerically exactly what I'm missing from both insects and fish. There's Biddy. Fucking useless ass shit. <laughs> Good thing she lives on the beach. I never fucking go down here. Got our peaches here. Might as well shake this tree too. It's really smarter in the long run to just shake trees early on. Cause that just means they'll regrow sooner <clears throat> but yeah we really got to look for sherry and freckles what are the odds that i'd get two pickup fucking chores the first time i try to do chores in a year and a half give me this bullshit it's not that i don't mind recording long episodes it's just that i'd rather it be a little more linear and kind of like convenient for the goddamn fuck you blue bear God, dude. I even fucked this up. Alright. <clears throat> Sup, Axel? Where do I look now? Tybalt, Axel. Completely uninvolved. Guess I'll just have to scan for a while. I always get kind of paranoid when I spend a lot of time searching for a character. Because it could just be like an infinite loop. Like, 
they happen to move a few acres over while I move a few acres looking for them in an opposite direction, and then it's just like, never find them. But, I don't really think villagers can run as fast as I do, or they can, it's not as often. We got a lovely vanity. By whose standards is it lovely? I fucking hate that piece of shit. I don't really like lovely furniture, but actually, I don't know, the collection's pretty cool. Not my favorite, though. And the cabana is definitely among my favorites. Anything rustic. That's basically my my trend for uh, aesthetics in this game. Fossil. Alright, moving over to Claude's house. Where's Claude? Why are none of you in front of your houses? It makes it so much easier. Guess you guys have lives, too. Okay, there's piece of shit, fucking Egypt shit. <laughs> uh, Barbara. Oh, I didn't do these weeds either. As far as I could tell, honestly, I must have just not done a thorough enough search, but it, to be fair, it is pretty easy to go insane. What's up, Claude? It's pretty easy to go insane picking weeds for upwards of, like, 20 minutes. Like, it's just honestly the most... It's basically the preset incentive in this game that's just like you know what here's exactly why you shouldn't spend so much time away from this game it's really gonna suck ass for you if you come back after 17 full months so uh yeah they sure showed me on that front and uh yeah that's just gonna be a big pussy sherry or freckles where are either of you assholes actually i like sherry really don't like freckles it's the most like piss ass name of all time sup I haven't been to Booker and Copper's place in a while should probably check their lost and found once I have more inventory space <clears throat> that's one thing in this game you have a quite a small inventory I didn't even realize it's full now so if I try to pick up it's not really going to happen so shit uh I've got four fossils total today. One in the letter and three in the inventory. Might as well just sell. Hopefully I find Sherry or Freckles on the way back. <clears throat> Man. I had my recording on 1.5 times native resolution. Actually, what am I even doing? I won't be able to pick up anything. 1.5 na native rev re resolution, and that's why I was having weird speed errors. I forgot that when I uh, when I run this game, it's pr I think I lose some speed if I try to do a higher resolution. Emulation itself is kind of a shit technology, but as I brought it down to one times native resolution, I got my 100% uh, speed back. So that's good. <clears throat> All right, probably no good use keeping my July tickets. Might as well just bundle that with whatever the shit else I sell. Going to sell the lovely vanity, but keep the classic painting. One ball shirt. Mmm. No. Nah. Bird cage. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Nope. Alright, it's paper time. Museum paper. Nice. Does it have that, like, kind of beige shade in it? Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. If I mail out four, I'm only gonna get three back the next day, but then it'll be added to a queue, so... I'll still be covered one day in the future. That'll be, like, one more fossil the day after that day. So, I guess it's okay to mail more than three fossils at once. And then, like, the next day, just not dig up any, and you'll still get some in the mail the next day. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but it's kind of... I don't know why they can only do three at a time, but I guess that's probably better, so you don't, like, make too much profit too quickly or anything, or fill up your, your mailbox or whatever. So that's alright. Just saves inventory space for now, because I'd hate to have one dangling fucking paper. Hopefully I can find something else to mail. Oh, Forgot they run the train in this game. Alright. Did not find Sherry or Freckles. And it's only 7.20pm. They're definitely not sleeping. 
So, where have I not really checked very thoroughly? Okay, there's Claude. I'm pretty sure villagers don't go to other villagers' houses. At least not in this game. Pretty sure. They also don't show up in shops or anything, actually. So, should be pretty obvious where they are, but it definitely isn't. There's actually a tool in New Leaf, if you guys didn't know. I think it's called the uh, Megaphone. And you can just, like, hope that your voice recognition in your 3DS is pretty good. And just, like, hold it up to your mouth and say the name of a villager, and they'll come rushing to you. Come running to you, and, uh, they might not come to you, but they can, like, have a speech bubble that, like, shows you where they are. It's pretty cool. Oh, that was a quick map scan. <laughs> the map in this game is so small. Yet I still can't fucking find Sherry or Freckles. Why is nobody in? You'd think everybody would be in because it's freaking cold as shit. Alright. I guess one area I haven't checked too thoroughly is right here-ish. Right? I think. <laughs> Pretty sure you can build a snowball in this game. Or sorry, a snowman in this game by stacking three, but it's really difficult to get enough luck to find them all like near each other. God damn it, dude. At least I kind of know where Hopper is. Yeah, fuck it. I think I have the same level of respect for Doc as I do for Claude. Probably because they're just bunnies, and I'm pretty sure they're both lazy. I don't know what either of them would be other than lazy. There's not, like, geeky or some shit. I think that's what it's limited to. <clears throat> I don't even know if there's a timer on it. I think it's probably, like, they give me about a day. To get all these chores sorted, I swear to God, Hopper, if you've given Doc's Pokemon Pikachu to someone else. Thank you. Alright. Now let's see what the reward was. This is like a really low proximity um, chore, which is really good. It's it's super close. So. Ah, uh, shit. I think I can avoid the bridge by wrapping around here. So it's kind of like... An isolated island here, basically. Huh. <clears throat> Alright, Doc, where you at? Am I going in the right way? Yeah, here we go. Doc, your dreams don't make sense. Oh, would you look at that? God, this guy's such an asshole. Oh, no. All you have is stationary. Whatever. Fuck it, I guess. I guess that takes care of 160 bells. Uh, Jesus. Cherry and Freckles. Where are either of you assholes? Able Sisters looks warm and inviting, though. Should check them out. I don't think they get new patterns in very often, though. If at all. I can't remember that too well. Okay, so Sherry and Freckles must be on the left side of the bridge shit. Alright, um, I haven't done seashell selling in a while. I don't think I have any plans to. I was gonna chop this down though, that's pretty fucking annoying. Clearly it's never gonna grow. Dig this shit out. Alright. Sherry and Freckles. Oh my god, where are you? Blue Bear. They're not in like another town, like fucking grocery shopping. Tibble. Weeds. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Okay. God damn it. Dude, Freckles. I know you've given it to someone else. Oh shit, this is the first time I talked to a friend. Fuck. Okay, so now it's Eunice and Sherry. Okay, where the fuck is Eunice's stupid house? Right here. It's the lower level. Alright, so I don't even have to go up the slope. I keep my eyes peeled for Sherry, too. Oh. 
this it? Sweet. Somebody's in their own fucking house. <sighs> what if Sherry was here? Sometimes when I walk in somebody's house for the first time, it's like really disorienting because I can't find the person when I know they're in there. So I look at the gyroids and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Allie has it. Thank God. At least she's close. Okay, thanks, Eunice. Thanks for nothing. Cool house aesthetic, though. Good interior. That's like a well-thought-out house. Notice a lot of people's houses in New Leaf just, like, suck ass. Alright, Allie's here, right? Yeah. Allie. What's up? <clears throat> Shit, this is the first time I talked to Allie, too, didn't Shit. Blue Bear took it. Wow. How else would you put it? You're like, hmm, how should I put this? It's like, how should I put this? Blue Bear has, like, what the fuck? No. Oh, what's up, Sherry? I bet I've taken too long at this point. Sherry's probably giving it to someone else. Lobo. Alright. So I have to go to Lobo and Blue Bear. This is awesome and totally not expected at all. Fucking Jesus, where the hell is Blue Bear? Like, I want to say in this area. Why do dogs bark? Like, there's really just no point or benefit. Probably can't hear it. It's my dog's across my house, but fucking Jesus. Alright. Guess I can take care of one inventory slot with that. Ah, oh, Blue Bear. If I can't find Blue Bear, I guess I'll look for Lobo. I bet at least one of them have passed it on to somebody else, too. This is total bullshit. This is why you don't do pickup chores. But also, I just want to do chores because they're a good thing to do. You might get a pretty good reward. Could be straight up bells, too, which is nice. Notice how Doc doesn't have any bullshit. Like, he's just like, alright, here you go. Everybody else is like, yeah, about that. I gave it to fucking asshole. Then I gotta, like, scan 8,000 miles and, like, go to, like, China just to get the goddamn thing back. Alright, whose house is this? Kiki. Awesome. It's Lobo. No, it's Tibble. Jeez, Lobo's here. Please be near your house. Like you have been this entire time. Lobo's... Oh, cool. Can't tell if Lobo's house is lit up. I don't think it is. Can't turn on your lights. Alright. Well, for what it is. Huh. Pretty nice. The globe. Sort of some type of cabin kind of architecture going on. It's pretty cool. Alright. Lobo and Blue Bear. They were both easy to find five minutes ago, and now they're just invisible. I'm going to pause the recording and come back when I found either of them. Alright, guys. Took a couple minutes. We found Lobo. Alright. You got it? Thank God. Wait, I'm supposed to be taking it to Blueberry, yet I have to do another chore for Blue... Wait. Shit. Alright, whatever. Does that mean Blue Bear's gonna have like four dialogue boxes? This is for Blue Bear, right? Yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. Why does the frame rate look so choppy? Alright. God damn it, dude. I guess I'll do the same thing. I'll pause and come back when I find Blue Bear. Blue Bear is hiding behind a tree. Alright. Delivery. Furniture that is not stationary. Awesome. So that's interesting. So 
the chores I was doing for Lobo and Blue Bear got traced back to each other. That's weird. I'm still pissed off because I had to go through like five more people than I thought I did. But that's all right. What did I get? Stove. I literally got a fucking stove for delivering a Pokemon Pika bullshit across an entire map. All right. Look for Lobo then, I guess. Should be back in the same spot. From what I remember, at least. Wait, where? Oh, yeah, cool. Usually where Lobo is, because it's right by his house. <clears throat> What's up with the Instagram notifications that say, like, they haven't posted a, a photo for a long time in a while? I think there's a fucking reason, because that app sucks ass. It's like literally every time anyone posts a picture, it's been like a while. And I think their definition of a while is like a week. It's like literally that's like, that's basically sending me a notification for someone post posting a picture. Like I literally uh, can't stand that up. Oh, one second guys. All right, actually guys, I'm going to have to cut this episode short because uh, I have to take care of something, but I'm going to mail the letters and finish it off with you guys normally like I do because I don't want it to be all awkward awkward ending and I just want to make sure I wrap everything up correctly so we're gonna head over to the post office and uh, send out our fantastic letters oh good thing it's fucking Phyllis that's like the one downside to playing late at night I wanted to have you know something at night you know just cuz it looks pretty cool I can tell I'm gonna get pretty sick of the whole like winter scene it's just basically pure white with little patterns and I don't know it's not bad it's just definitely not my favorite based on what I've seen like based on what I know this game's capable of graphically so it's all right but um definitely looking forward to playing in the spring and I hope this I don't get too sick of this but it's all right there's something I can appreciate about everything and for, for winter it's fucking string fish holy shit I just got like 15k my my wallet like increased by like 50% just for selling that fucking thing all right, cool. Sent out the maximum number of letters. Um, you know what? As of right now, oh shit, wait. Oh yeah, you don't go up to here to pay off your debt. You talk to Phyllis. All right, either way, I'm not gonna be paying off any form of debt. Oh yeah, when you fill up the, uh, when you send five letters and prepare them, then freaking Pete comes flying out when you walk out of the post office. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do. That's gonna be it for today, guys. So. Um, I'll see you next time. Sorry I have to cut it short. I didn't have a lot in mind beyond the two chores anyway. And I'm just glad that I didn't get stationary from literally everyone. But, uh, yeah. I just thought I'd make my rounds like I normally do. I'll take care of the weeds. And uh, those should not be nearly as much of a problem for the rest of the series. So, uh, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you next time.